Well, I was really curious about buying a record cleaning system, and I checked out Amazon, and I found this uh, the Studebaker recording, uh, the record cleaning system. And uh, I thought I'd give it a shot and, and see, you know, how effective it was at cleaning the records that I had. So it comes, you know, in this box. Uh, it has uh, the main unit here. Uh, I think it also comes in, uh, there's a wood grain finish uh, model. It comes with a, a bottle of the, the Clean It fluid. Uh, it comes with one of these micro cloths. And if you look on the inside here, it comes with a small uh, or a, a transparent lid. Uh, inside you have these uh, uh, brushes. Right? So to operate the unit, you uh, take the brushes out and you place them there and you put uh, just a couple drops of the cleaning fluid on them. Uh, just to, it says the instructions say three or four drops uh, on either of those. All right, and then you can just place them back into the unit like so on either side. Right. And uh, one of the main interesting points is that what I found through my research is that, uh, and the instructions don't mention this anywhere, is that uh, you should put a, uh, an amount of distilled water at the base. Um, but if you look on the instructions for this unit, you won't find that mentioned anywhere. Uh, you check on, on YouTube and most people uh, agree that having uh, distilled water in the base will help clean the record. So here I have one of my favorite records. Uh, I'm from uh, the Pacific Northwest. So we like the Dandy Warhols up here. So I'm gonna give this record a cleaning. So basically what you do is you, you drop it in between the brushes uh, and place it on the rollers and then you just gradually turn it. They say turn it about three times clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, and you can see that it's getting the record, you know, moist and cleaning off all that built up dirt over time. And a couple more spins, right like that. So once you pull the record out, it's a little bit wet, so you're gonna wanna just run the, uh, the cloth over it. And I'll do that uh, with my free hand, hold on. And this is just the tail end of cleaning it up, wiping off that excess uh, fluid on it. Um, there's a, oop, there's a couple uh, brands uh, similar to this that sell a kind of a drying rack as well. Uh, I don't, I mean, unless you're doing a bunch of records all at once, I don't necessarily think that you would need one. Uh, could, could be handy if you wanted to do a, a large set all at once. Uh, my impressions uh, with the Studebaker have been really good. It seems like it operates really well. I mean, it's pretty basic. Uh, the The wheels here also can move, so you can do uh, seven inch uh, 45s, smaller records. Um, those just move back and forth. Um, and then when you're storing it, you know, you just leave the, the plastic on, it helps reduce the evaporation um, of the distilled water in it. And and these are the brushes. Again, you just pop those in, um, spin your record, pop it out, and it comes out nice and shiny. So, so far so good. I would recommend it if you are looking for a, a record cleaner. I don't think you would need to go up to the next level, which um, I think is the spin clean. It's that yellow one that you see all over, um, which is basically double the price. Uh, but this one seems to basically do the same thing for half the price. So I would recommend it. Uh, if you look down uh, in the comments, you can click on a link uh, uh, to pick it up on Amazon. I think that it retails, I believe it's $45 um, roughly. Um, yeah, good recommendation. Happy with it. The Studebaker Record Cleaning System.